Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for us, Sun, Moon, and Rising Gemini. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is the end of the zodiac energy for the year 2017 for the Geminis because your birthdays will be ending on the 20th of June, so it's going to end on Tuesday. So I want to say to each and every person, this is going to be the energy of a fire week. The energy of a fire week, we have the energy of inner strength. We need to find inner strength in this week, and it's affecting just about each and every person in this week. It doesn't really matter what zodiac sign you are, this inner strength. You need to find a way to find inner strength because it's going to affect you in this week. Okay, so what's the weather situation that is happening? In this week, inner strength is what you need to, um, to connect with in this week, and it's going to help you to move you through this week in a wonderful, positive, positive energy. Okay, I see the energy of the Ten of Wands for you, Gemini. I want to say thank you to each and every person. Um, for returning to my channel I want to, um, to ask you to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign please thumbs up like and share these videos last week there wasn't a reading because I've done the quarter readings and <laughs> I thought okay all right your focus is going to be a ten of ones what is happening why do you feel as if the ten of ones is a burden you have felt a burden you Gemini's whatever the burden is it's gonna go away you have the ten of ones twice so you're feeling a burden it's, it's this week is, is dealing with um, your relationship it's, it, this week is dealing with your relationship um, there is a lot of stuff that is happening um, for you Gemini's in this week it's all about um, people coming from the past at you it's a karmatic situation you're you it's as if your enemies are coming out on Monday you're seeing people Wheel of Fortune is um, bringing back people from the past. There, it's it's letting you see your enemies, and you also have uh, the energy of the Ten of Wands here, and it's showing up. Um, it's as if a lot of you guys have a lot of burdens in this week. This is uh, your focus for this week, and it's like you have so many burdens, and you want to release yourself of these burdens. But yet, still with the burdens, there are people coming in and bringing, you know, yet still support to you. And Monday you have the energy of this moon and this moon is the energy of uh, um, your enemies coming out from the woodwork I always say your enemies coming out from the woodwork because some of the times you weren't aware that these people were um, your enemies okay and all of a sudden you're seeing your wow okay I thought that person and I had a good relationship and all of a sudden this person is bouncing on you and this is something from a karmatic situation and you thought Oh, I thought these people like me and you realize that they didn't really like you and that you are seeing their true colors so this is what is coming out on Monday whatever is happening um, be aware that on Monday when these things happen love is the only thing that is real so just realize that you're not being liked by everyone that uh, sometimes people have a hidden agenda about certain things in their lives okay as we move forward and we see the energy vibration of the five of cups you're having regrets you're having really 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 regrets over certain things in your life you that you weren't expecting or regrets or here standing up here and you're having so many regrets over certain things that is happening in your life and um, it's all about regrets emotional things you wish you didn't and you hadn't done certain things and um, these regrets are coming up because apparently you saw people who you thought was really um, there for you they weren't the ones who were there for you and the people who were there for you you let them go and you are seeing your regrets coming up and that's why you have you felt a burden on Wednesday okay whenever these sort of a things happen is a lesson that we need to learn sometimes we meet people and we are fascinated with what they have who they are and sometimes it's not how it is and sometimes the people who have been there for you through uh, you know thick and too thin and dull and everything and take you as your uh, and and accept you as who you are 
um, you never really accept them until they have left your life and here you are looking out looking out for something much better and it's as if uh, this has to do with people who are having relationship problems people who are having work problems issues at your work that's sort of a thing so you know that's why you're carrying the ten of burdens because whatsoever that was there for some people I'm getting that some people had you know good work um, related um, with other people and then they left it and then they realized that these people are really working against them and in relationship they had a good relationship with someone for years and then they left them for someone different and thought that that person was good and then they're seeing that you know it's the worst thing they've ever done so they have it but it's a lesson that they had to learn and this is what you're looking at a Tuesday you're looking to move away and, 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 and move away from this person. You're looking for something much better in your life. On Tuesday, you have the energy vibration of uh, um, the Queen of Cups. The energy vibration for the Queen of Cups. So for the people who are having a relationship with the Queen of Cups, um, it's a bad relationship. It's, it's, it's no you know there is a lot of quarrel a lot of jealousy a lot of both a lot of this is no relationship you know this is uh, you know she you know the queen of cups she has a ten of swords man it's like she stabbed you like thousand times you know this woman is not really nice you know but you know as if you're saying yeah i need to release myself from this relationship and do that do that because this king this queen of cup whoever she had pretend to be it's not really you know it's it's not really a nice person and it, this is really in the relationship form because you're having a situation with this queen uh, and this, this queen of cups and it, it is in a relationship form and the eight of swords is also here you're seeing who this person really is you're seeing that this person is a liar you're seeing that this person has been betraying you. You have seen um, that this person was not nice. This person came in um, with a dishonest face, and you're seeing that now. And the person who you really like and truly appreciate um, is gone now. It's really gone. On Sunday, you, you want to be alone, and you want to release this burden. You want to be alone and you want to release this burden that you have been feeling on Wednesday. You you really now have chosen to be alone and you want to release this burden of this Queen of Cups. It's not, you know, for the people, and this is only for the people who are having a relationship with this Queen of Cups, whoever this Queen of Cups is, it is not working out. And you have been trying to make it work, but it is not working. It's a karmatic situation. She 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 is doing things she's working with a negative aspect some not all and if she's not working with a negative aspect she's working with the ego she is so out for the materialistic things and all you want is love there is so many quarrels and and and, and you know backstabbing and that sort of a thing this woman is seriously not balanced so leave her alone walk away because i see here you want to release yourself of this burden. This woman is like a burden on you and you really want to release yourself of this burden. You're really seeing that this relationship is not working for you and you really want to move away from this relationship and accept things as they are, but just move away from it. And you're going to be victoriously leaving this woman. Whatever is happening, you're going to be victorious. You just need to focus and to put your focus and thoughts because she is a burden. This woman has been a burden for you, Gemini's, in a very long time. And she has been creating so many things that you are not aware of. You are going to be victorious over it because people are praying for you. Ask for prayers acts to release you all you have to keep on saying please release me from this relationship because it's not working whatever lesson i should learn let me learn this lesson but release me from this relationship because whoever this person you're in a relationship with it can be a cancer and i'm feeling that it's someone of a cancer because the pisces are not like that and the scorpions are not like that but the cancer women they are so clothing and whenever they have the time 
and they can you know they they have so much negative thoughts that they bring it out on other people you know it's, it's jealousy you know lying and deceiving that sort of energy you Gemini's don't need this go look for a stable sign so it's just the earth sign or the fire sign this is not a person for you you are um, here this person is water hair and water doesn't really work it's just an hurricane people we just have to understand who we are and what element work with us and even if uh, the um, astrologue because there's so much different information that is coming out you need to understand if you're air sign you can't go with water because hair and water is like an hurricane it's like a storm okay this person has been in your life for it's you know it's from 2016 and before that I was doing the reading and I was seeing this energy okay all right let me leave that so the love thing is that whatsoever is happening it's all about some people people who are having relationship with a water sign person and it's not working anymore you are going to be victorious o uh, over this there's two energies of victory and um, this is a karmatic situation that you yourself have brought in your life because you didn't need to really have this person in your life you should have realized that something wasn't right about it but you like the flares of uh, you like the glitter and that is what caught you in this relationship the glitter when people shows you the glitter okay I can't be down on you guys for the rest of the people you're going to be fine <laughs> what numbers are here N the number one and ten new and number four so one and four is here one and four is here one and four is here you need to you need to find in a piece in yourself i'm asking archangel michael to show the gemini's what can help them in this week as they call upon you healing energy healing so whosoever this person is energy healing whosoever this person is that has been um that you need to release out your life is a water sign person it can be also for some people your boss is energy healing and you need to call upon Archangel Michael and uh, ask him to send energy healing thank you for sending healing energies to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me thank you for connecting with me to lovingly um, uh, to loving and I integrity healers and teachers of the healing model if you're having a problem connect with myself or look out there for alternative healing people alternative healing people and they can heal you from the situation so you can just walk away from the situation because this is really an unhealthy situation for you guys okay this is really unhealthy for you guys and the next thing I receive is that your home is protected your home is protected by angels so this is wonderful and it says Archangel Michael thank you for watching over my home and his inhabitants I ask that you post guiding angels at each doors and windows ensuring its security thank you for guiding my financials so that I can easily afford to pay my rent and mortgages and taxes so this is wonderful so no matter what is going on um, you're going to need healing energies in this week and know that your home is protected by Archangel Michael so this is good as I call upon the angels for answers for you Gemini's to see for the majority of the people what what these Gemini's need to know and the angel says consideration consideration reconsider reconsider okay when this card of reconsider comes up it doesn't say not to do it it is saying maybe the way that you need to release this person reconsider because maybe you want to do it actually but reconsider how you want to be um, lose this person and by reconsidering how you're going to deal with this person then you will find a more positive way so that you know you don't create karma because this is obviously a karmatic situation that you have brought back in your life okay and it says reconsider reconsider there is an element of your plan that should be um, revealed take some time to really go through your project or uh, proposal thoroughly 
share your intention with a trustworthy friend or advisor who can give you objective feedbacks. Ask your angel and guidance. This is not the moment to make the changes in your life you're considering. A better time will come or you will realize that your wishes to choose a different kind of uh, transformation for yourself. So this is what I've just said is that whenever this is coming up, it's not to say that you're not supposed to do it, but reconsider the way you're going to do it. Okay. So this was a wonderful, wonderful, extremely wonderful week. Um, it's going to be, um, you're releasing certain aspect of yourself for the rest of the people. Relationships are good. And I want to say to you, remember to listen to your sun, moon and rising sign. Please thumbs up, like, share these video, leave a message so that everybody else will, um, uh, deal with this energy vibration. I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste until next week.